The upgradation of Nyomu Air Base near LAC will be completed in October, that will host fighter jets for interdiction strikes. HAL Chief has revealed that the company is aiming to deliver all 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets by 2028, which is one year ahead of the original timeline of 2029. Hindustan Aeronautics has strategically allocated 15% of its profits to fuel research and development initiatives. The RDO's High Energy Materials Research Laboratory has successfully developed dual-thrust extruded double-base propellant for anti-tank missile, that offers increased maximum range, and an ability to generate two distinct thrust levels during the missile's flight. The Indian Army is facing a gap of weapon-locating radars, and addressing this gap is crucial for the Indian Army to enhance its artillery's effectiveness. Edith Defense Systems has secured second place in the DRDO organized Dare to Dream 4.0 award competition, by developing a miniaturized radar payload designed for the Defender X2 unmanned aerial vehicle. India is set to implement a long pending plan to raise a new army division for possible deployment in eastern Ladakh, that will comprise of around 15,000 troops. Indian Air Force's helicopter crew deployed in counter-terror environment and internal security duties will get new light bulletproof jackets. The Philippine government's Department of National Defense has signaled its intent to move forward with the acquisition of 40 new multi-role fighter jets and three frontrunners have emerged in the potential multi-billion dollar deal, that includes the Gripen F-16 and Tejas Mark 1A aircraft. Department of National Defense will now evaluate each contender based on factors such as capability cost and interoperability. After developing an ATAGS-based 155mm 52 caliber truck-mounted gun system, Bharat Forge has started work on a powerful 155mm 45 caliber truck-mounted gun system, that is based on the company's existing Mark 155 ER towed howitzer. It is yet to be confirmed whether this development caters to the specific requirements of the Indian Army, or an export client. The Vice Chief of Indian Navy has said, that the TED-BF program is progressing as per a carefully crafted plan, and the first flight is anticipated within the next three to four years. The full-scale engineering development funding has yet to receive approval, and the Navy will pursue budget reallocations through established channels. The Indian Embassy in Egypt is actively promoting the Akash Air Defence System, and discussions are underway between India and Egypt regarding the potential sale and local production of Akash missiles. If successful, this deal could mark the second export deal for the Akash weapon system after Armenia. Today's Top 3 Comments